Not everyone has the time, money, or resources to quickly finish an unfinished basement within weeks before planning to list your house for sale. So what do you do with your unfinished basement? Do you leave it as is? Do you clear it out? Do you leave slippers at the bottom of the stairs and just let buyers use their imagination? Or do you actually stage an unfinished basement? Hi, I'm Michael Schuster, a multi-award winning real estate specialist in the greater Toronto area and the surrounding suburbs. First, I'd like to start off by highlighting all of the different classifications for a basement on the MLS listings that buyers look at before coming to see a house. There's partially finished, full, half, none, other, semi-finished, finished, apartment, separate entrance, walkout. Okay, some of these are obvious, but what the heck is full or other anyways? It obviously is an unfinished basement or it would say finished. A full basement is a nice way of saying we have a full unfinished basement. Now, for what I'd like your opinion on. Recently, while I've been showing my buyer clients different homes, I've noticed many homes are featuring unfinished basements that are, in fact, staged. And I'm curious to know what you think of this. On the one hand, it makes sense to put your best foot forward. You only get one chance to make a good first impression. On the other hand, buyers often get offended by obvious attempts to fool or deceive them. And let's face it, some unfinished basements that have been staged actually do look unrealistic, which will ultimately backfire for the sellers. Like this one, an unfinished basement with no ceiling, exposed ductwork, pipes, and wires, but clean painted brick walls. Gotta love the electrical panel. Here's another example, but they put wall-to-wall -wall broadloom instead of an area rug. Or how about this one where they did drywall in some parts? So all that's really missing is, well, a ceiling. Here's one where they've installed laminate flooring, drywalled two-thirds of the space, but haven't put in a ceiling again. I don't know where to start with this one. An electrical panel, some ductwork, and wires, and some artwork that is totally out of place in my opinion. I still haven't figured out the door with a window in it. How about this one? With many area rugs, a cozy chair, a nice coffee table with an orchid, and a cozy couch to watch the furnace? So if you were a buyer and went downstairs to see any of these basements, would you laugh at the seller's attempt to pass off their unfinished basement as a finished rec room? Or would you find it helpful and place a higher value on the home? If you want to know more about staging, be sure to check out my other posts called Top 10 Staging Tips That You Can Do Yourself, Do You Still Need Staging If Your Home Is Nicely Decorated, Tips for Staging Closets When Selling Your Home, and What's the Point of Staging Your Home When Listing It For Sale. They're all on my YouTube channel at www.thereguy.ca and on my blog at schusterrealestate.com. On either site, just type the word staging in the search field and they'll all come up for you. And if you want to know more about the process of buying or selling a home and more about how to do it safely and smoothly and profitably, I'm always happy to chat. And remember, when it comes to real estate or anything else in life, if there was a better way, wouldn't you at least want to know about it? If you have questions, just email me with any questions you might have. Mike at thereguy.ca. It's always strictly confidential, never any pressure obligation. I just love to talk real estate and I'd love to help. Thanks for watching.